2018 Nissan Rogue SV. So on this one, we're doing a recovery to replace the condenser, but they also have the bottom of the frame members hit from underneath and it's bent back just a little bit. You almost can't see when the fascia is on here, it looks perfect. But when you look straight down, can you see it comes over here straight and it starts going back a little bit, like an eighth or a quarter inch. And then down below, the bottom of the condenser is actually bowed in because it's hit from underneath. That's where the damage has happened. So this is all pushed back just a little bit. So the condenser is coming out, but that's not what our finale is. Right now, remember last week I was at, a, uh, what was that? The MACS Convention Expo and Training. So I seen these closer and what I noticed, I noticed something on here that puts them different from the rest of the companies. Let me see if I could see the markings. Okay, the markings are on the other one. On the low side, there it goes. Right there, it says Parker. Let's see if I could zoom in on that. Right there, that's Parker. So these are manufactured or manufactured or licensed for Parker for Yellow Jacket. Now these are the ones, the guy at the Yellow Jacket booth gave me these to test and demo. So I'm preparing these for test and demo. So what I'm doing is I'm lubricating, if you look down inside there, let's see if it will zero in. You see that O-ring, it's nice and dry. I want that to be a well lubricated O-ring and same with the O-rings when you thread this up and down. I want all that to be Yellow Jacket, see? Yellow Jacket has always been very excellent quality. I want to get into that oil, so I'm going to put some lubricant and I'm going to let it rest in there. I'm going to turn it around and thread it up and down. I don't just put them into use right away. I lubricate them first. And so that's what I'm going through the process of right now is a refrigerant oil or Nylog, whatever you want. Let's see if I get that. It doesn't want to focus out here. Let's, let me tap on it a few times. There you go. And so I'm going to put these as my main use for 134 vehicles. I'm going to use these on every vehicle. I'm not going to, every time I have to do a vehicle, these will be my first fittings to use. And I'm going to try to wear these out in the next few months and see how long they last. Because if you've noticed, I bought dozens of all these aftermarket um, ones from eBay and Amazon. And I've been testing them out over the last year. And I found a higher failure rate on all the cheap Chinese ones that you could get for like $10, $13. And the ones that were manufactured by Yellow Jacket almost lasted the whole year. I do a lot of use, much more. Most people, they would probably last them five years, 10 years. But I do so many vehicles, I, I wear them out in months. Um, Oh yeah, and I burnt my hose. I finally uh, did some damage to my hose. If you remember my video of putting, see this sheathing on here that you could see? Let me zoom in on it. I finally burnt my hose. Let's see, will you focus? You won't focus, will you? Okay, so right here, I burnt my hose. There we go. You see where it looks like it's bleeding? So that was on that high performance race car uh, the Pantera, I think it was. It had stainless steel exhaust manifold, and you see the black, the hose is black there. This was next to the compressor, and it was right next to the exhaust manifold, and it touched while I was doing my test. It burnt through my shrink wrap tubing, and because I had so much silicone grease in between my shrink wrap and my hose, it really didn't burn that bad. Yes, it turned black. But I could tell you from a fact with a lot of experience of popping and burning hoses that touch uh, exhaust manifolds, high performance aftermarket tube style exhaust manifolds that get really hot on race cars. I would burn through within two, three minutes. You can burn right through a hose and it'll pop on you. It did not burn. I was on there for like 10 or 15 minutes. It turned black. There's a black spot but it took so long to burn through this high temperature shrink tubing. And then because the thickness of my grease, the silicone grease that was in here, it literally extended and silicone grease can go up to, was it 400 or 600 
Fahrenheit of uh, temperature range. And it finally cooked through that a little bit, but it's still good. It didn't pop. And so that was a good modification. This, these hoses lasted longer than any hose I've ever did since I did this modification with the silicone grease wrapped around with shrink tubing over it. All right, I'll get back to you guys and uh, we'll see how these do over the next few months. Yellow Jacket. These were my dad's favorite air conditioning tools and these were my favorite air conditioning tools for fittings and other air conditioning products. All right, see you guys.